July 2020 issue of Nephrology Times. Folic acid on the progression of CKD, a study out of China. And what they showed in China was that taking folic acid in a supplemental form reduced mild to moderate kidney disease by 55%. Now, that's a big amount. It won't apply 100% to people in the U.S. and in countries where they fortify their grain products. What that means is that when you take a whole grain, so I'm just going to use wheat because everybody knows wheat. You take whole wheat, okay, you, you strip it down, you take out all the nutrients. And in one pile, you have all the nutrients, the fiber, the grain, the endosperm, all the good stuff. And the other pile is the leftover stuff. That's what you typically see is just plain wheat, not whole wheat, white bread, uh, rice. They also do it too. And there's no nutrients in there, so they fortify it, meaning they add back in the nutrients. Okay, and we add back in folic acid, some B vitamins, iron. And you can always see this on a package label if you're not buying whole grains by, by turning the label over and you can see fortified. Okay. Uh, it is a low dose, low quality vitamins in there, but they do give you some nutritional benefits so that you won't have that same impact as they did in China because they're looking at a lot of, a lot of areas that don't have the fortification okay, of grain products. All right. But what it shows is how important is folic acid is and why everybody with kidney disease should take it. Okay. And they were using a marker called homocysteine. So you can always ask for this blood test, homocysteine. Uh, whether you get it or not, that's another challenge. The conventional medical community says it's uh, not not uh, an accurate indicator, doesn't do anything, it's not clinically significant, okay, as they would say. But then you have the whole functional, holistic, and even a lot more progressive people saying, no, it is. It, it is a marker that we use now. And that's what they use in the China study. So you can always check your homocysteine levels, ask for a blood test. If they're high, even if they're not high, I would still take folic acid. But if they're high, you can really justify taking extra folic acid. And if you have kidney disease, it's probably going to be high. Okay. And what I take every day, because I've checked my homocysteine for a long, long time now, and I can see directly how it goes up or down based on how much folic acid I take in supplemental so the one that I take, and I tried a lot of different ones, and I don't uh, sell this product or have any ties to it. I take the Life Extension High Potency Optimized Folate, 5,000 micrograms, okay, which is 5 milligrams. And I take, uh, right now I'm taking 4 day, okay, because I, I'm having a hard time getting my homocysteine level into a normal range. And I found that the 4 day really dropped it down. I'm still not down into the normal range yet, but I'm close. And I'm taking a lot now. I've taken between two, one, three a day. I've tried a lot of other products. Um, the whole point is take folic acid, okay? If you really want to be um, clinical with it, get the before blood work and get the after blood work. If you take folic acid and you go to most stores, you might find like 800 micrograms, one milligram. That's probably not going to do it, okay? You, if you have kidney disease and that elevated homocysteine, it's, it's, it's not going to lower. It's not enough. That's why they sell these five milligram, 10 milligram pills. Um, a prescription pill is called Deplin. It's used for um, mental health, okay? And, and that's 10 to 20 milligrams. All that is is prescription folic acid. And when you get, and when you buy folic acid, you wanna get the methylated one, all right? So there's different types of B vitamins and different types of other vitamins and different forms and they attach them to different things. So you wanna get methylated B vitamins. Okay, and methyl folic acid. So I'm going to show you again the difference is the difference is the absorption rate. So methyl will absorb much better than the other types of folic acid that you might find out there, that you will find out there. All right, and this is the one that really works, and it works better with people who have certain gene mutations. Okay, it absorbs better, so everything is better about it. And I've tried it both ways with the homocysteine, so I know from my own experience and you know, working with all the people we do here at Healthy Kidney Inc. Okay, and um, you gotta use the methyl high dose. All right, give it a try. If you wanna be clinical, check your homocysteine level before and after. All right, if your doctor doesn't wanna do it, find someone else that will, or just uh, get your own blood work. A lot of places online, you can just order it from in your state. Uh, find phlebotomist, mobile phlebotomist to draw it. Okay, depending on your state, you can go even to like a lab core with the requisition or some of these major labs. All right, so thanks for watching, everybody. All right, try folic acid if you like. Check that homocysteine level. Like, subscribe, check out our website. Thanks for watching, everybody.